meteorologists believe that we're now locked in for two degrees of global temperature rise. That is what has been considered the safe limit because after two degrees Celsius, we start to see significant weather pattern changes and we will see 30 up to 50% of species go extinct because of these weather changes, these rapid changes in environment. And this will affect people all over the world. This will affect um, food resources. It will affect um, where, what areas of the world are habitable. And this is something that I'm very concerned about. And I think converting to renewable energy can help solve this problem. 60% of our greenhouse gas emissions come from energy production. Imagine if we could produce all that energy using renewables. That's my goal. My goal is to get the world completely converted to renewable energy. And I'm starting one step at a time by improving resources that we have right now. Renewable energy has problems with reliability and cost. And I want to improve renewable energy so that it's a more viable option to replace fossil fuels. Borealis Wind is starting with addressing wind turbine icing. Below zero degrees Celsius, wind turbine blades will get ice buildup on them. And once there's ice buildup, the wind turbine has to be shut down because it's not safe to operate. Wind farms lose over $200 million in revenue due to ice buildup. And that could power an additional 150,000 homes in Canada. Worldwide, it's a $3 billion annual revenue loss. And we're addressing this issue with a internal blade heating system that can be retrofitted onto the wind turbine. Our system is a hot air heating system. The blades are hollow, so we install it directly inside the blade. We can install it up tower. It's simple to retrofit. And we'll de-ice the blades in 90 minutes, reclaiming 80% of the power that would otherwise be lost to icing. The problem with wind turbine blade icing isn't just that you have, you're getting ice buildup on the blade. It's also the excess load on the drivetrain, on the wind turbine structure. The ice can cause vibrations, the ice can fly off. These are massive 100 kilogram ice chunks that can fly over 100 feet, maybe over 300 feet. It can create noise problems. So it is not only the downtime, it's the wear on the turbine, it's the safety aspect. It's, there's a lot of problems associated with wind turbine icing that would be alleviated if they're using Borealis Wind's de-icing system. Would you rather we do everything we can to protect our environment and then find out later that climate change actually wasn't real? Or would you rather do nothing and find out later that climate change is a huge problem, but at the point where it's too late to do anything? And <laughs> that's my motto. So I'd like to make a difference and protect the environment because there's nothing to lose.